thinking about a couple of things. First of all, you know, I was talking about this the other day. Why, what do you think, like, when you see people, you could be cruising through Instagram, transferring emotions, for example, or you could look up, like, vegan before and after, or, you know, the word vegan, you can really get tripped up on that, you know? Just like I was talking to Mr. John, that we weren't really talking about that, but he's like, you know, people could get some results if they were consistent with the diet. I was like, right on, man, I'm feeling you. Like, he's like, it's not just about the working, and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm knowing, I'm picking up what you're laying down, Mr. John. But it is a twofold thing, and I'll tell you something, that I'm gonna be coming out pretty soon with a live chat about the exact pinpointed movements, how many, how much weight for myself, which will kind of be, not really be irrelevant to you, but you can kind of see how I'm progressing on the strength gains. And my body is transforming, and it has been thin for years now, but you know, after I lost all that weight, and it, it's maxed out at about 88 pounds that I've lost and kept off for a, for almost a decade. Come on. And uh, so the, the lifestyle is sustainable. And, and the second part of that is my health continues to grow stronger every day. That is the big deal. I mean, I, I've known people to have gastric bypass in the past and like basically lose their whole health because they couldn't get any nutrients, you know what I mean? Um, just a lot of different things, or all these diets, you know, roller coaster, all that crap, like it's garbage. It, anything that you can't stay on for a lifetime is a waste of your time. Shall we repeat that? Anything you can't stay on for a lifetime is a waste of your time. Come on, I just thought of that. That's good. You know why? Because it's just a yo-yo effect. It's cruel to your body, right? We want to love ourselves up to, to the next level. You know, with real food, you know, providing your body with nutrients that it deserves and needs. But anyway, that's not what I was coming to talk to you today. So I was just looking at um, some transformations. Really, I was in the grocery store or some store, Walmart or somewhere, and there was, of course, you know, in the magazines there, your before and after, like quick weight loss or whatever the gimmick is for the day. I was just thinking, you know, there's a lot of ways you can lose weight, but most of those ways are not sustainable. So what is the point? There's no point in doing that. We as mostly women, now it's men too, and everybody is overweight, right? People need a solution, and the solution is a whole foods plant-based diet with an emphasis on high raw, a mineral dense, micronutrient dense lifestyle paired with body movement, paired with lymphatic drainage, paired with fun cardio that doesn't make you think, please God, do not make me get on that treadmill for an hour and a half. I see people at the gym doing this that are getting their results. I saw it all last year. You really can't outwork out your bad eating habits really can't. Have you ever looked at how much, and people think calories don't matter, but duh, right? Nutrients matter too, but that again is not the point. Um, the thing is, have you ever looked at how much calories are in, I don't know, say you're eating those ridiculous little 100 calorie snack packs of something like, um, I don't know, mini Oreos or whatever comes in those things, Ritz, peanut butter crackers, trash. It's a toy, okay, and it's small. Like, if I'm going to have a toy, give me the big toy. <laughs> go big or go home. So, say you're eating a toy. Have you ever looked at even these low-calorie foods, which, first of all, are usually more chemicals? They're chemicals, okay? That's not even real food. Anyway has a low, low grade addictive quality too to make you come on back for some more because duh, manufacturers are being paid a godzillion dollars to have the trios of salty, sweet, and fat laden with chemicals that are going to bring you back for some more to make them money, 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 right? Anyway, so say you're doing that. Let's just say you're doing it. Have you ever looked at like you got this 100 calorie pack snack? Get your butt on the treadmill and see how long it took you to burn that off. 
those chemicals that guess what are still they're being stored in toxic fat pockets because your body's like brr, 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 chemicals alert stored away from the organs so we don't die you know have you ever looked at the calories on that what the heck no wonder people are starving to death we got a bunch of people in this country that are morbidly obese that are malnourished how does that go together you know why because people are eating chemicals things that are made in a plant not from a plant again that was good <laughs> I'm just saying that what is it that's gonna get us results and we're gonna keep those results and we can then in fact quit living to eat and just eat to live our lives of love and light eating to give us fuel and energy and and boundless thought process and longevity and and a spark like no one else you can be different you really can you can be extraordinary in your ordinary world do you have to wait till your kids are grown till your family's on board till your job's just right till you got enough money you got enough time I would suggest you don't wait because that ain't happening no perfect time is coming and no one is coming to save you. Everything you need is within you already. You already have the power within, Dorothy. You just didn't know it yet, right? Said Glenda, the good witch. <laughs> That's so true, you know. It's just the things that run through my brain all the time. When I hear people and see people and they're struggling and, and there's no need to struggle, but there is a need to put both feet in. You know, stop, perhaps you might want to stop dipping your baby toe into the pool of health and not understanding why you're not feeling how it feels to swim in the ocean. That's because you ain't in the ocean. You got your bit baby toe propped up on the side of the water fountain. That's not the same. <laughs> I am glad I can laugh at my own jokes, really, because yesterday I was thinking I am really lonely. Like, not lonely because I'm really always like, come. It's not as if it's a feeling of needing completion from anything else but like I've got a lot of love to give you know what I'm saying and um and I just have a lot to say you know <laughs> uh, so what else I wanted to tell you was this about those transformations was the first thing like what in the hell, why do you think someone else can get that and you can't why does, I, I talk to people all the time that need to lose like 100 pounds. I guess I do it already. Let's do it. Are you, first of all, when we're going to map out a plan, what is your, what's your level of interest in this? Do you want the master plan to get you to the master results fastest? Because that's what I want to give you. <laughs> Or are you in a place where, I, and then I want to give you the day where you're thinking, Tanya, you suck. I cannot, if I don't eat something cooked, I'm going to come through that phone and strangle you. <laughs> I know what y'all say behind my back. I hear you. I really do. So let's say you're in that place. And I'm not taking it personally, okay? So say you're there. I want to give you, too, what's like, the, the you have the bullseye plan, okay? What's on the 90%, which still, by the way, 90%, you rocked, right? So I'm just saying, giving you the tears out to health, right? And the further on the tears out you get, the more tears you're going to be shedding because that's the longer it's going to take you to get to your bullseye goal. What is it you want to be? And are you willing to do the work? Because a lot of people want to have a vision. They want to have a they want to have a vision board. They want to have a. Uh, they want to manifest this into their life, but they don't want to do the work. And that's a problem. You need a plan. First of all, you need a vision and a why. Why do you want to be different? Why do you deserve different? Why are you going to do different to get different? Why? Keep the why in front of your eye. 
because that's going to keep you focused, okay? But that ain't enough. And I'm sorry. People love to hear, we as humans love to hear good things about our bad habits. That ain't getting you nowhere. And that's not getting me anywhere, right? I'm not about that. Let's just cut, cut through the crap to get to where we want to be, you know? Let's cut through the hoo-ha, the yin-yang. The Tweedledee Dee, you know? So let's say you've got your why in mind. You, you are visualizing that. And then you've got a plan. A master plan. You've got a journal. You're not lying to the journal. You ain't get doing yourself any good, okay? Nobody's reading your diary because nobody gives a rip. You care. So stop ripping out the pages. You never really begin again. Start really putting what you're doing and seeing where you're tripping up every day because those those trips and slips can become stepping stones to the greater version of yourself if you start noticing what you're doing. What are your patterns that aren't working for you, right? Here's another thing. Don't assume you're never going to fail because you are. If you are never failing on your way to success, you're number one, lying, or you're not even trying. People that are where they want to be have failed their way to success, along with myself, in the areas I can say I'm successful in. And the other areas that I'm not, I'm assuming I'm failing my way to success because I sure am failing a lot of times. <laughs> and I've got a chart. I really do, people. I have a graph, and it's got some pie chart graphs on there so so my little mind can understand it like here is the percentage of time that you chose this and this is the percentage of times it didn't work hello Tanya <laughs> rise and shine butterfly anyway so you've got you've got your well mapped out plan all right and then guess what here's the thing you got to do the plan you know it's at it, the best the best talk I've ever heard about that type of thing was Tony Robbins saying, and he got this from his mentor, Jim Rohn, because I've heard Jim say this. So Jim's like, you know, you plant a garden and you don't want it to have any weeds, you know? And you're inside and you're visualizing, you're picturing your garden with no weeds and it's pristine rose and it's got all the veggies and it's got the greens and it's got no weeds. And you're in there and you're saying to yourself, no weeds, no weeds, no 